Yay, nursery tank again. There's my uh, balloon Molly. She's still having problems. She's been trying to give birth forever. I feel so bad for her because there's just nothing I can do for her. Uh, but uh, I wanted to show off my new uh, Corys. They're emerald green Cory cats. Same as the little ones that are behind them, but there are two that are rather huge. But I think they're full grown. <laughs> but they sure are big compared to them. Um, my Corys were, they were lonely. I only had two, and I'd been wanting to get more for a while now. You can see there's uh, not quite as many babies in here because I gave a lot of them away today when I got these guys. There, I have uh, so many babies on the way. I've actually got some new ones in the other tank in the um, in the breeder net because uh, one of my moms decided she would give birth early in the uh, big tank. Oops. So I only got four babies, unfortunately. I may find more. My tank's pretty well planted and it's got a lot of nice hiding places. But, uh... Yeah, I wanted to show off my quarries. This one's a little bit interesting. It's uh, It's got that emerald green shine to it, just like the other quarries, but it looks like it's almost albino. So I'm wondering if they can interbreed or something. I don't know. It's kind of awkward, but uh, it's a nice little fishy. So I now have... Um, let me see. I got... Yeah, I've got seven. I've got seven green quarries, or emerald green quarries. And, uh, boy, are they happy now that they've got a group to be in. <laughs> Mine were a little bit shy when I first put these guys in. But they got over it. <laughs> I love those giants. They're so cool. They are going to get my bigger tank just as soon as I'm done with all the, uh, well, I had a uh, spike a little while ago, and I did just get it under control, so I don't want to touch anything. And uh, once all these babies go to their new homes, and I'll probably keep the new ones that are incoming in the uh, other thing, I'm going to redo my other tank and move the adults over here. But it'll only be for like uh, three or four days, maybe, at most. I'm going to turn the bigger tank into the sandy tank because uh, it's clear to me now that my little bottom dwellers need the bigger tank. <laughs> Not the little tank. So in a couple of days, I'm going to redo that. Uh, that means I have to go buy more sand. <laughs> but I'm actually liking the sand substrate quite a bit more than the gravel. The gravel just doesn't go with anything. I do like to keep a little bit in. This kept my uh, tank from going through a whole new cycle. I, I left some gravel in in the corners. Because if, if I had just taken everything out, it would have my tank would have had to pretty much be started over. So I didn't do that. But yeah. Here's my giants. I love them. They are so cool. I don't know if this is getting good footage of them or not. I'm sorry it's a little shaky. I'm trying to readjust here. But they're still a little skittish. These guys are awesome. They told me at the shop they aren't used to getting them that big. They're usually about the size of these little ones that I've got in here. They're the only two big ones that I have. So, uh, I'm thinking that's what they're all going to look like when they're full grown. And if so, yeah, I do need to have them in the bigger tank. <laughs> it's fine for the small ones for now and two of the big ones, but only for a short time. But, uh, yeah. I decided I couldn't give up my Corys, even though I only had two. I didn't want them to be stressed out, you know, because there weren't enough of them. But I got so attached to them, I just couldn't give them away. So I've, I got them buddies and... That 